Welcome to Keyence's first time setup guide for the brand new FR series of radar level sensors. In this video, I'll go through the initial settings of the sensor, how to use the adapt and sensitivity functions to set up stable detection, and give an overview of the display and menu options. Once you power on the sensor for the first time, you'll be greeted with the initial settings. Pick whatever language you want to use, and then choose the polarity of the I.O. PNP means the FR will send 24 volts DC when an output is on. NPN means the FR will send 0 volts DC when an output is on. Here you can also choose how many outputs you want to use. Maybe you only need to monitor if you're above or below one point in the tank. Or maybe you need to distinguish between five different levels. This is where you would choose that. Next, we need to tell the FR what type of media is inside of the tank. Our options are water, oil, or powder. Simply choose whatever suits your application the best. Now we get to choose the distance measurement unit the FR uses. I'll go ahead and use millimeters in my setup. This value scaling is only applicable for the FRL, the long range models, and allows you to make the FR display the actual volume inside of the tank it's installed on. I'll choose milliliters for the unit of volume. And then I'll say that I only need to know the milliliter value to the nearest whole number. Next, before the FR can output the volume of the tank, it needs to know what type of tank you're using. There are a lot of preloaded options, or you can manually input your own tank's correlation between distance measurement and volume. I'll just be using a straight walled cylinder in this example. Now we're back to the settings shared among all FR series sensors. We need to tell the sensor how far away from the bottom of the tank the FR is mounted. The reference point of the FR sensor is shown on the screen now. Once you've entered how far away the bottom of the tank is from the FR, you need to tell the FR how far away the top of the tank is. After this, if you chose to use the volumetric value scaling for the FRL series, you should input the capacity of your tank here. My tub indicates that it can hold 940 milliliters, so I'll input this value now. Finally, you just need to set up the outputs on the FR. This screen will allow you to set up the level associated with each of your outputs, and the next screen is going to let you flip the logic on when the output turns on between normally open or normally closed. The very last thing that we've got to do is set up how the indicator light will work. The indicator light changes between green yellow, and red. The order of the transitions can be established here. After this, we just need to confirm the end of the initial settings. Before getting into details about further setup, I want to give an overview on the operation of the display and menu navigation. The display will update as the level in the tank changes. You can change the display on the sensor by pressing left or right. Maybe showing a percentage, volume, or distance makes more sense for your application. Next, tap on the square menu button, and the most common things you'll need to do are in front of you now. We came from the current value display, but we can also change the settings entered about the distance to the top or bottom of the tank here, change the set points for the outputs, or perform the adapt function. We can also view more settings like the IO or system or detection related settings. Lastly, we can simulate operation to test inputs or outputs or initialize the sensor from the screen as well. When you're installing the FR, I'll always recommend performing the adapt function right off of the bat. The adapt function is going to analyze the different signals the FR detects from the tank, 
allowing you to choose the appropriate signal correlating to the correct level. And then optimize the settings on the FR to ignore any false signals. To perform this function, click on the square menu button and then select Adapt. This will lead you through the process. Mostly you just have to select the current level of your liquid or powder. and then select OK to all the other options. If the media in your tank is a little tricky to detect, such as oil, bubbly fluids, or powder, You may not see any signals present when you run the adapt function. If this is the case, I recommend increasing the sensitivity setting. If you enter into settings and then detect settings, you can find the sensitivity here, number four being the most sensitive, number one being the least sensitive. Once you increase the sensitivity, cancel any previous adapt function data and then reperform the adapt function. Now you should be able to see the correct level and have long term stable detection.